Hey folks, this is Charles with Total Focus Lawn Services. I just want to do a quick video for you guys uh, to show you uh, some of the uh, uh, essentials you need to consider keeping with you uh, when you get ready to uh, set up your lawn service, when you get ready to go out of the job. Uh, today is uh, September the 3rd. It's Labor Day. It's kind of like my day off. I was just chilling, didn't have anything uh going on today uh so i just decided to you know do a quick video just show you some of the things that you know i keep with me because you never know uh what type of situation you're gonna find yourself in or uh what customer you're gonna run into that probably wants you to do a little bit more than just uh cutting cutting the lawn so you know um when i'm out there uh and i you know waste my gas going to a customer to do a lawn well, I wouldn't say waste my gas, but when I, you know, spend money for gas, go do a lawn, do a lawn for a customer. Uh, sometimes a customer wants you to do other things, whether it's like, you know, cutting down a branch or quickly fertilizing the lawn or, or something like that. So I just, you know, try to be ready, you know, keep uh, quite a few, few essentials with me. Right now, I just got my trailer uh, in uh, fix up mode. You know, I was adding a, a uh, few extra things to my trailer that you carry out there. So you never want to be caught shorthanded. But as you can see, you know, some of the stuff that I got, you know, uh, pretty much most of my racks are, you know, kind of like self-made. And they are, you know, really good, sturdy racks, you know, where my weedies don't spin or nothing like that. They're on there tight. They don't flip up and down or nothing like that. And you see why I kind of like made, uh, made a rack to where I can, uh, you know, keep spray poison, you know, to kill uh, weeds in the driveways and different stuff like that. Uh, and you, as you can see, I already, I made my, I got self-made uh, uh, blower racks on there. That's, you know, really solid, you know, to keep them on there. They don't shake around and don't get loose or anything like that. You know, then I have a, a, a hopper for spreading fertilizer. And also I keep my cooler with me cause you gotta stay hydrated out there. Uh, and so, you know, I keep that pretty good uh, cooler right there. But, you know, I, like I said, some of the essentials that I got, I keep this shovel on hand. Uh, you never know when you cleaning up debris or something like that on the sidewalk or something like that uh, in the driveway. You can use that to scoop it up real fast. And then I have this um, uh, kind of like attachment that goes on uh, on uh, my uh, uh, Ryobi. Uh, weed trimmer. It's a, it's a, a detachable unit right now. I got my edger, uh, uh, edger blade on it. Uh, if I wanted to, I could actually, uh, take that loose and put this on for trimming, uh, underbrush. And then I also have several other different items that I can use on that, uh, detachable, um, weed trimmer. You know, I have this, uh, pole trimmer that comes in handy a lot, you know, when you're doing landscape work, you know, a lot of times, Folks want to keep, uh, folks want you to, you know, trim branches and stuff like that. Then I have these, uh, hedge trimmers that's also, uh, used on it as well. But now I just wanted to show you some of the basic, um, essentials that I kind of like keep with me. As a matter of fact, you know, I, I actually, um, I, you know, I had this trailer custom made and I had the tongue made long enough to where I could, um, get a utility box on here for storing a lot of my small things i actually ordered one from amazon and it was too big uh and i actually uh end up sending it back and i just saw this one right here at uh uh walmart uh and i thought it was like pretty heavy and sturdy so what i did was i kind of like mounted it to the tongue of the um of the trailer uh and that you know gives me the option to keep a bunch of uh, uh, things with me. So, uh, some of the things that I keep a spare, well, I mean, you know, a lot of different lawn services, different people keep different things, but I keep these right here. These are good for, you know, they help you pick up leaves real fast. You know, I got those in Amazon. Another thing I keep with me, I keep some, uh, some, uh, tire sealant with me. So you, cause you never know when you actually run over a nail. Or something like that uh, on the lawn and uh, end up getting a flat tire. You can fix it right there. And I always try to keep a, uh, 
Yeah, I keep a uh, you know uh, chainsaw oil with me. Um, I also keep some extra uh, 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 forty to one oil because that stuff you go through that pretty fast when you weed eating and blowing and different stuff like that. You know, and I kind of like keep extra uh, 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 straps with me. You know, because you never know when you want to have to tie something down. You may have a uh, customer that you did a lot of work for uh, um, cutting, cutting off branches and limbs and different stuff like that or cutting down trees or something and you know a lot of customers are kind of don't want kind of don't want you to leave it land in their property so sometimes I charge them a little bit more and I haul it off and I throw it away on my property uh, but on average most of the time I actually leave it uh, that side of the road. I got to fix this top on here. It's kept giving me problems. But, uh, you know, I also keep extra uh, weed eater uh, spools with me. Uh, I found that that is a lot faster than uh, re-threading it or opening it up and trying to put another spool in it. Pretty much basically just get you a nail and hold it in there and spin it off. And then spin this one back on real quick and then you're ready to go. Uh, some of the other things I keep with me, uh, you know, uh, branch cutters. Um, now, let me get a hold to them. branch cutters for you know cutting branches off right quick. Um, and you know, like I said, I got my I got a spool of line right there. But you know, a lot of times you out on a job, you find yourself running out of sp of uh, uh, string. So I keep a spare uh, in the box as well. Uh, one of the other things I keep in there in here is I keep. Um, Keep a little starting fluid. You know, a lot of times you may have a an equipment you get out on a job site, and uh, if the equipment has set up for a little good little while and it rained or something like that, you know, a lot of times they are kind of like hard to start. And so you just spray you a little bit of that in the carburetor, and I'll uh, get it going right fast. Um, then I also keep a little uh, WD-40 with me, um, and then uh, I keep a. Uh, quite a few edge blades with me extra batteries for my uh head trimmers uh you know and then uh you know, i keep my gloves uh safety glasses uh, uh machete you never know when those will actually come in handy uh, keep a bunch of sweat bands to you know cut down on all the sweat and i keep uh extra belts for my lawnmowers you know just in case uh you know you break a belt or something like that uh, if you got time, you could uh, actually um, you know, pop one on there. Uh, and just just quite a few other things. Uh, but you know those are those are my basic essentials. I keep you know extra string already cut up. I have a weed eater that with a head on it that you can just stick those in there and be ready to go. That way you won't have to change heads on it or rewind in the spool or anything like that. I have a, a head that I just actually stick them in there fasten them down and they're ready to weed eat but I, I have that weed eater in there i don't actually use it pretty much i basically use that one for uh for my employees a lot of them uh, uh what I, I got he doesn't know anything about bump and rewind you know a lot of people don't know don't know much about that but you know i keep a lot of plastic bags with me um let me say i keep a lot of uh fuses uh Quite a few fuses for my for my trailer lights you know a lot of time because i got a lot of lights on my trailer and a lot of times you know uh a wire may rub up against it it'll blow the fuse up under the truck and everything and so it's, it's, it's a good idea to uh you know when you stop or get gas or something like that right there and you got a partner with you or something you get them to you know kind of like Go back in the back and check and see if your signal lights and your brake light working. If they're not, more than likely it's probably going to be a fuse. Uh, but again, like I said, I got gloves. I keep a bunch of screws with me. A hammer, screwdriver, uh, black tape, uh, wire cutters, wire pliers. Uh, you know, just, you know, and uh, you never know when you're going to need a good roll of toilet paper. So I kind of like keep one of those with me. Uh, you know, like I said, a lot of bungee cords. Uh, I keep a lot of bulbs too, you know, cause a lot of times, you know, your 
not not only may, may you might blow a fuse because a wire touch on your trailer or something like that but your signal lights and uh brake lights and stuff like that a lot of times the bulb will go out and uh you don't want to be out there on the street uh especially in uh uh high traffic areas uh and your brake lights are not working or your tails and signal lights uh, uh, working and you uh, call yourself to uh, actually contribute uh, to an accident uh, but you know like I said I keep screwdrivers uh, you know quite a bit of stuff uh, like I said those are my edgy blades you go through those pretty often I pretty much get uh, like maybe five or six yards out of out of one blade and then I have to change mine because the sharper the blade is, is the better the blade is the faster and more smoother you the smoother your edging gonna be and the faster you get it done. Uh, but in the back of my pickup truck, I try to see why I mount so many brackets on my pickup, on my trailer, uh, to put different things that I may need on there. It's for the simple fact I try to uh, keep my truck as uncluttered as possible. Uh, you know, like I said here, I got my, I got my gas, gas, uh, uh, gas cans that's for my two cycles engines that's for my uh, lawnmowers or whatever uh, this is just an extra head weed eater head in case you need an extra weed eater you know I keep my tools in the toolbox back there uh, axes picks uh, Joe blades uh, funnels and these are these are, are really important uh, in some states uh, for you know they're, they're law that when you park in uh, heavy traffic and stuff like that, uh, they're required. You know, there's some cones that I picked up at, at Amazon, but even if they're not required, uh, when you park uh, at a customer's lawn to get ready to uh, do their lawn, you know, you got a lot of traffic coming through there. Uh, you want to put those out to prevent them from uh, coming too close to your vehicle or you while you over at your vehicle working it's different stuff and so these are just my security cables um i don't use them that often i got about you know 70 customers and most of them are in uh uh pretty much 75 to 80 percent of them are in, in uh high-end neighborhoods and you know i don't use that but when necessary i can just actually use that to strap all of the weed eaters together and then put a padlock on the same with this same with the um blowers and different stuff like that but uh i was just you know sharing with you guys some of the basic stuff so i know everybody you know pretty much can't think of everything but you know i i just you know do you know, trial and error you know when i'm out on a job then i'm just i'd be thinking like man if i had this or i had that and you know a lot of different things that i go through uh uh and i which that I kind of like had those items. Yeah, I go back later on and I make sure next time I go out on the road, uh, I have those items. You know, I even have a, a, a drill here. So what I do is I have some customers that, you know, uh, when you when you cutting the cutting the lawn, uh, you you they have a kind of like a small gate and you can't get your uh, lawn mower, your zero turn, your wide lawn mower through the gate. Some people you can actually uh, pretty much talk them into letting you uh, take the gate down where you can get the lawnmower in there, cut the grass, and then put the gate back up. So what I do is I unnail it, take the nail out, and then I put some screws back in it. So that way when I show up the next time, uh, you know, and they give me authorization to take the gate down, I can take the gate down real fast, get the lawn cut, and then screw it back up. Uh, but uh, that's my that's my video. I just wanted to show you guys some of the uh, – uh, essentials that um, you actually uh, might want to consider uh, keeping with you uh, when you go out to do lawn service. Again, like I said, I try to be ready. I try to have everything. I don't want to have any kind of downtime. I want to be able to, you know, meet all the customers' needs and stuff like that. And really, pretty much the bottom line is that if there's money to be made, I don't want to leave any on the table. So that's my review. Uh, you know, you got, I wish, hope you guys uh, like this video and hope you can use it. Uh, if you can, I would appreciate it if you could uh, subscribe to my channel. Or if you got any questions or comments or suggestions or anything like that, hit me up. I'll be glad to answer your questions. Thanks and have a good Labor Day.